Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between El Dudorino and Pwnbot uh, with Nurgle versus humans. The humans have opened with the quad skulls. Wow. That is amazing. And they set up on defense on offense. <laughs> Yeah, it's just worked out. <laughs> That's so. incredible, isn't it? They literally set up with a defense. In a defensive formation on offense. I guess they, they were gonna scared of getting blitzed, but they, <laughs> they just rolled quads. Anyway, and in the booth is Purple Chest and Muppet. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Oh, dear me. Well, it um, worked out as they set up, sort of, maybe? Yeah, I mean, sort of. I think this human team's in a lot of trouble here. Yes. Uh, they reach the point where the being sort of all right at everything isn't good enough. They're not good enough at any one thing. And here they're not good enough to weather this bash storm, I don't think. There's a lot of very bland blitzers which just guard on them. I think they'll fall like dominoes. Yeah, and um, what happened was, I was told on the YouTubes, was that all of Pwnbot's blitzers got killed. <laughs> Right. By Andy Davos Chaos Team. <laughs> so he had to kill some new ones up very quickly. That's not surprising looking at this team. Yeah. Uh, it does have a couple of beautiful uh, catchers. Uh, one is plus move and one is plus agility. And he also has his uh, wizard in his back pocket. But it looks like it might not do anything if he doesn't have a team to pick up the ball afterwards. Yeah. And well, he and he got a bribe as well. I always kind of hate the bribe, right? Because it's, it's kind of good if things go well for you. Pretty rubbish if they don't. So I generally tend to hate the bribe. Uh, I mean, I do too. Having said that, you know, this round I got some good use out of it in my game. But then my plan revolved very heavily around uh, doing some fouling. So I think if your plan is a bit more casually or a bribe might be fun, then probably it won't be. You're better off with an apothecary or something. Yeah, especially in this game, I'd have preferred the apple. Yeah, I mean, plus to be fair, right, in PC, you expected your game to go well. <laughs> Which yes, then I, quite I expected like. to be on top positionally, but also he had a piling on piece that I was trying to both um, deter from piling on and kick in the face if it did. And an AV7 blitzer and two witches on the pitch. So okay. that gave me lots of good options to get a, uh, you know, a nice aggressive foul. Yeah. Maybe the humans are open for that as well. You just have a pommer as well. Yeah, but he can't get on top. That's the thing. Like, yeah, that's yeah. the problem. That's the difference. Yeah, bribes are pretty good when you're already winning. <laughs> Not very good, like, or if, if if things are already going well, and and obviously. Or if there's a piece that you know is going to come for you. He also had a a wrestle leap witch, who was quite likely to end up on the inside of my cage. So if I can knock her down, there's a good chance I can get a good solid position and get a multiple assist foul. <laughs> But in the main, I mean, like you, Jimmy, given a choice of inducements, I'll go straight for a whiz and then as many apples as I can have, usually. I think they're usually the strongest in game. Pick up some egos as well with your PC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, like this, to be honest, like humans are one of the favorite. If they're not coached by Murloc Joe. They're one of the favourite teams I like to face with as, as like, you know, Chaos or Nurgle, because they've just got nothing for you, have they? You know, they're like, they're weak. Why are you doing that? What are you doing you know, here? Just them, like, they're, they're a doing? bit fast, but you can kind of keep pace. Like, they're not, they're not that much faster than you, and you're a lot stronger and a lot more killy than them, so it always feels like they haven't got much, much to offer um, versus the claw pump teams. Developed, <laughs> developed claw pump Yeah, teams. developed. Like early on, maybe the Nurgle doesn't have pest to go, so you're a lot faster than everyone else. Oh yeah, at low TV then Chaos and Nurgle are... Well, Nurgle, Chaos are bad and Nurgle are terrible. But I don't think <laughs> Chaos are that terrible versus humans early on, because they're still quite fast. But... Yeah, Chaos are only bad at yeah. low TV, but, but Nurgle are horrendous at low TV. But like it, it, in the Chalice and, you know, like this kind of higher TV, then it's just... The, the humans are just dead meat at, the, at this point versus bash teams yeah I mean they, if they built nicely and aggressively they can still take on health teams and cause all sorts of problems but against a true bash team particularly if they don't have the speed advantage they're perhaps a little better against dwarves just because they can outpace them so easily but no are just that tiny step faster they just they all fight the arms race free roll and we agree yeah. yeah, definitely it. Love to see a bit of greed. And we definitely pile on here, or we don't need to nope. because we injure it and no, we just everything is good in the world. Apple. Instant apple. Oh, fail. 
Yeah, it worked. It was badly well, hurt. So. Did it work? No, it just felt bad. Yeah. I think this ogre is probably not long for this world either. Oh. A skillless hit, so definitely going to break AV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean... It does, yeah. Did you not see that rotter before? You only KO'd a human. He's, that rotter's been amazing. <laughs> I like the dirty player foul here on the, ca on the catcher, because they're uh, fast. Uh, yeah, fast. as I said, the catchers are the, uh, are the monstrously difficult pieces for El Dudorino. Just bring him back. Ooh. And he's got one on tent, so the other one's not that scary anymore. Hate no. that move. Hate that move. Even even though this one is on tents, as you say, you could one D the beast. You know, you can dodge now, yeah, one D the beast or something. I, and I don't like being in the back. Or just uphill it and uphill it is everything perfect. is fine. Yeah, I really hate that. I would have definitely going back. No. Mid. Center mid. And indeed, we are blitzing there, so. Uh... Rower's going to have to dodge off or hit on some that thing off him. Okay, that looks like what we're doing is we're hitting. Mm. Oh, this oh no, okay, we're running up the side. We've created that little uh, option to dodge through. And again. <laughs> and we go out. Let's go. So we can just pop the pass to the catcher. I did say the two catchers were the dangerous pieces. Yep. We took one out, but we didn't deal with the other. Yep, and it's got the ball and gone. That Rattler could have been here. It's buggered off. But he has got the wrestle. Oh, God, he's got the wrestle. He's got the wrestle runner. <laughs> okay, it, I guess you can just three dice him with, with the carrier. That's... The, the carrier's sort of in the way as well. I think he's... Is he making it one more square? I, I would have hit with him just because he's been so murderous thus far. Sean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so far. Let him continue his spree. Oh, he God, is. he is! <laughs> He's no, coming I'm... for it. He shouldn't have done that. <laughs> he shouldn't have done that. He should have three dice. He's thousand. He's fine. He should have three dice. Like this way, obviously, you've got the recovery with him as a recovery, but I think you should have three dice and, uh, and not. Yeah, it does mean that recovery option is there afterwards, which is nice. Yeah. This uh, murder spree has ended for this rotter, though, Sabu. Yeah, tragic. Tragic end to the murder spree. But this is... Uh... Very bad for Pong but now, isn't it? Oh, well, well, I'm going to leave you for a bit, but I will be back, I'm sure. All right, Thank cheers, you. PC. Huge cast there. That Rando oh, basing has, has <laughs> that Rando basing off. forward has, uh, has, yeah, has really cost, really cost him there, and he will be missing the next game as well, as well as being down minus AV. So possibly. Uh, uh, I don't know what the next team is, but losing a tackle wrestle first like an elf coach. Would be Could, be. Yeah. Could be run ruining, couldn't it? Although he does have that rotter who has wrestle, so uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he is my true hero from now on. <laughs> and uh humans can't triple stodge, so we don't get the ball set. Yep. Hello, Fermi, and hello anyone who I didn't say hello to. Sorry, it's been it's been hard because this is so fast. Like you've got to concentrate on the game pretty much all the time, right? Whereas, yeah, it's, uh, uh, replays are quick, which is good and sort of. Yep. Yeah. Wow, he doesn't claw on him. What the? Who we claw on him? What in the blue yeah. fuck? The the what the? Ogre. The ogre. That's very greedy, because like he doesn't even have dodge. No, oh, just the guard. I'm going for it. This guy. Is, I guess he pushes him on the beast. He's, he's doing something there. Yeah. I mean, there's two turns left, so again, like just like the chaos, right? He didn't have to get forward this far. He could have, he could have played it a lot safer. Again, three plus dodge in could just get him the ball set. <laughs> Shut up, Al. <laughs> yep, the world of Elp has spoken and everyone here has ignored it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we get the beats down. Yeah, so now this these these blitzers are free to roam. 
Body roll comes in on the first. Don't you one. move the other one first? Or is no, because this is an, this is two, this is the extra GFI, whereas, isn't it? Is it? Help me in my humble yeah, opinion. Yes, so there's two GFI. So yeah, your kiss you can just base him first and double modify to hit. Yeah, that's probably better, isn't it? Yeah, so he, he probably did do it wrong. So if that dodge five, just GFI. failed both times, you would have had no one on the ball. Yeah. But then, you know, like having the ball base, it just, just hardly matters, but in fact doesn't matter, right? So I guess having an extra square after you've knocked the ball over is better. Yeah. Because, like, he's left with his ball base, and all it means is he gets claw pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, you're going to take the skill, you use it. Yeah. I mean, you use it if it doesn't lose you the game. And, uh, <laughs> Unless you wick, then you use it every turn anyway. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but again, it magically doesn't lose him the game, so it's all right. <laughs> Woo! Hello, Necrodons. Yeah, it's all looking pretty... Sad now for the humans. I mean, he's, got, he's still got threes to hit the ball, threes and twos to hit the ball, but now he's got no rerolls. So oh, the yoga bone head made it so he doesn't have that blitzer. <laughs> God. Well, there you go. Perfect turn eight, steal and stall. Yeah. Take some four pump hits because you have a reroll. Yeah, it's looking really hard for Pongbot now, isn't it? No, like, that was his drive, so there's only one KO rolls, and uh, old dude Reno is starting with a ball. And he doesn't even have to score, he can just stay in his middle side of the pitch, be protected. So yep, you have to attack me, and every failure you win. Yeah, it's real hard, isn't it? Yeah. Got some chaos back. Yeah, he's got 10 players. Oh, he didn't get the catcher back. No, so he's only got the one catcher. So he, he just set up like primarily against a, against a blitz and really only care about <laughs> protecting the ball, isn't it? It's the only thing you need to care about whatsoever. Uh, there's still the whiz, but. Yeah. I don't know if it would do much. I mean, maybe if it was an elf team. Humans, you like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, that's it. That, like, that's all you have to care about is protecting the ball, isn't it? Like, yeah. you know, and so obviously you can like screen it and cage it and all that kind of stuff, so that it's gonna take a, a fireball from the gods to do anything. Try to take out the uh, catcher if you get the chance. For that reason, mm -hmm. I like not committing the pommer to the line and just... Oh, there is a blitz. There it is. And that's why I didn't like having the claw pommer on the line, right? If you keep the claw pommer back here, you you can hit anyone who comes through, but he didn't do Especially that. Especially since he's your only tackler now. Yes. Oh, Fend! Let's go, Fend! The hero rotter fended <laughs> him away. Wow. And he will not power on. No. This is... Yeah, Pretty rough for the nerve on them. Yeah, that's the thing. This guy's through the side. Was, you know, he, this guy could have just been here. I think that's what he had to do. He had to do minimal commitment to the LOS, basically. Keep this guy's reactive. If you ask me. Uh, if Pwnbot needs to, he can use the wizard to score. But <laughs> yeah, I don't think he'll need horrible. to. Do your long bomb. Is the question. <laughs> Maybe you let it get uh, surfed. Let yourself get surfed. No. I, I, I don't know. I quite like just going for the long bomb. Could work too. The long bomb. Just thinking um, if you get surfed, you can just hope it goes in the right direction. Yeah. But that, he, you know, he, I think if you, if you throw it up here, then. Um, then you know, like you can have it kind of protected, like a kind of protected zone, right? Yeah, so you cage the area where the ball's going. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully, even if you're getting inaccurate, he's up with you. Yeah. Yeah, I would like not follow up there and stuff. Well, he's just going for this, he's going for the catcher. Gets the pow, goes for the catcher without tackle. It's the big pow. So, I mean, that, that does like protect that area a lot, doesn't it? 
Oh. He's failed to pick up. Well, he definitely don't go for the pass now. Do he, does he I think, bolt? I think, I think he should have moved the beast first at least. Yes. Does he bolt? He hasn't bolted. Fen, pretty, pretty big there. Oh, huge bonehead. It's, oh, good. It's been awful. Oh, devastating bonehead. Oh god, he's just standing that guy up. He, no, no, Shawnee, no. Oh, is he dodging? He's dodging off this nether warrior. Yeah. Is that not the blitz? I thought that might be the blitz. He's gonna the dodge. Guy he's gonna dodge and pick up the ball and what? Well, I don't know what he's doing. He's just gonna dodge GFI surf. And then I'm sad the that the uh, last hit on the. The warrior wasn't the. Uh... Oh, this is the blitz. Yeah, no, I think you just bolt him and pick it up and score. He's going for the uh, surf. Yeah, but then you still lose, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> <Like, no. laughs> <laughs> He could go for the surf on the uh, on the catcher here, couldn't he? Obviously, since the replay's fast. Maybe he was thinking of something, but when the ogre failed, he had to rethink his plan. Yes, yeah, that's fair. Devastating bonehead is the title of Jimmy's oh. ogre. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> um, hello, Doug the Marathon. Hello, anybody I haven't said hello to. Sorry, do apologise if people haven't, you know, haven't have ignored people. It is it is tricky with the speed of the replays. So he is doing the blitz. I mean, that's the common sense thing, obviously. You just blitz and, uh, and pick up. But the other thing is, um, that piece of Nurgle could have stopped all that completely if he moved first. Yeah. So, ooh, cheeky GFI to get a two dice. Yeah, you gotta do that, haven't you? So how many foot players have we got? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's still there's still a chance for the humans. No, no wizard this turn either. <laughs> and no right J5, yeah, that'd be amazing if that's how fast everyone played. <laughs> oh, another bonehead! <laughs> Jesus Christ, and that would have turned the garden to places which might have helped. <sighs> Fend doing a thing again. Yeah, Fend has pretty we've been pretty strong overall on that rando rot there. He's also KO'd and stunned a player. Yeah, yeah, so his wrestler has got him hit that has dominated it. <laughs> and then the uh The Fend has been good too. Yeah, he's just trying to pull back and I think he probably had to just put go all in on that on the whiz and that turn. Three, three, Especially with the two, plus edge uh, catcher. Yeah, but he'd been, he'd been down though, hadn't he? So. No, he was still standing that turn. No, not not when the ball was oh, in the, the turn end before. zone. Yeah. When the ball was in the end zone, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he would have had to one dice against block. Hope for a push, I guess. Yeah, so. It, it would, it would, I, think, I think it was worth. Going for the blitz at the There you go. Woo! Yes, um, the removal. With, with that power on, does he have enough people to protect the ball? Um, probably. Because that's all he has to do now, isn't it? So, like, yeah. he doesn't have to think about getting forward. It's just, he's just got to get forward so that there's, like, less of a scoring threat, isn't it? Is the only thing. Like, he doesn't have to get forward to score. Just want to reinforce this at the moment, an uphill. Hero Rotter come in? No. Why is the Hero Rotter not coming in? The rot, the rot has gone close enough, hasn't he? He's close enough, right? If he, yeah, he powers him, he's still screened. Um, and it would have to be a very lucky fireball to do anything. Oh, yeah, I guess he's scared of a fireball hitting more pieces, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I think the fireball wasn't good enough. And that would have been, just, that would have been better against the fireball. I think he had to come in, the extra square. I'd have gone in the extra square, but I can yeah, see. Yeah, I was thinking about the extra square. You don't, you just, it's just that you didn't have to. You didn't have to, but it, like, you know, it wasn't, it yeah. wasn't, yeah. It wasn't mandatory. Yeah. Oof. Oh, he's doing something now. He's woken up this game. He's a bit late to the party, but, you know. 
If he's got stand firm, he can stand there. Yeah. And now he's got the uh, the edge four. You know, if you can get him, if you can keep him free to react, then the the wizard, get, you know, like he need, he he really wants him to be able to react, doesn't he? That's the thing. If he is free to react, then it could be good. Are you snacking, Muppet? Uh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> and then I muted to burp. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, the snacker snacking. Unbelievable, Jeff. I like that. I like the not activating the beast there, obviously. Yes. You could hear yeah, the I guilt, mean... couldn't you? Or you could hear the guilt in the, in the response. <laughs> Fend again, amazing. Amazing use of Fend. Oh. But now... I now miss him. Dead. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I miss him already, Jim. Obviously, if the beast did activate, it would have been his strongest spot, because he would have been on a downed guy as well. But it was just... Oh god, have you, have, you heard, have you heard the Chris clip about bad people in Blood Bowl? It's amazing. No, I don't think I've heard. It's completely amazing. It's like, it's like bad people in Blood Bowl. There's three stages of bad in Blood Bowl. I don't know the link. Um, I don't know if someone posted it in my Discord or if someone posted it in in a, in a, in this in a stream today. But it was amazing. It was like there's three stages of bad in in Blood Bowl two. There's the bad End people. The turn there's, for fuck's there's sake! People who, uh, End the fucking turn, man! There's people who have dodge on manual. They're bad. <laughs> then there's people who have tackle on manual. They're really bad. I really hate those. And then there's people who have fend on manual, and they're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and it was pretty great. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a little bit loose, but again, you can't really get around there, can he? Um, J5 seems where you'll find a link. He's good for that. Yeah, and he, he, I guess he is a bit scared of the... I uh, don't like putting him in contact unless you get this guy down. Yeah, this is the blitz now, yeah. The power one. You've also got the... Yeah, no, power there's no power in him. <laughs> Power one. All skills, all men. I mean, he's got to. He's got to use. He, this, he's, this wizard isn't going to do him any good in open ladder, is it? He has to. <laughs> he, has to he has to do something with it. But it's hard. The windy, windy go. Yeah, and he is targeting the catcher. Well, yeah, when you ca use it, is before you catch his fucking dead. <laughs> I mean, as long as it's knocked down, it's good enough for the to win him. Yeah. But if it's stunned as well, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, you know, he should have used it earlier, basically. Yes. That was the... He should have used it when he got the Blitz and had the chance. Yeah, I think so. But... Why does it feel like El Duodomino's not got a lot of players? Like, it seems to be... <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, he's he's got two cast. Um, oh, here oh, comes the fireball. the fireball. And it's not a ducky fireball, it's a one out of four. Oh, a PC fireball, that was a good one as well. <laughs> yeah. and oh, there's a foul Ogre. appearance. Ogre finally activates, but he foul appearances. But we... <laughs> one day on the Do ball, scanning the, the crowd. No. Uh, ball in the crowd, ball in the end zone, and then, or not even an in, just next to it. Stolen can, it. Yeah, you can throw it here. Uh, but there is there is stinky, stinky nerg. So he's going for the he's going for the dodge to make it easier. Is that the thrower as well, or what? It is the thrower. I don't like making the GFI if you needed the wheel on the dodge. Yeah, but uh, it's you know that's the thing. I, I don't know what difference it makes, right? If is it's... he out of the stink? Yeah, he's he's still in the same. You would have to do two GFIs. Yeah, he's already out of that. I don't know if this guy just moved forward as well. If this guy was already there, then you are moving out of a stink as well. No, he just moved uh, back one. Did he move one? Yeah. 
Then so yeah, maybe he shouldn't have GF tried. He should have checked if he used the reroll and then decided. Yeah. Yeah, he probably stacked them. It looked like a stack from in the replay, I don't know if that's what it's yeah, like. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. You can never tell. Ooh la la! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Only a stun. Because uh, even if he gets an inaccurate throw, it's up the field, which is what he wants. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the thing Like, you know, if the GF. Yeah. Like, you just don't know, do you, at the end of the day? Like, you'd have to work it all out with a, how, how far the pass was, and then with accurate, and with how many stinks there were, as to how likely it was to fumble. And then whether that GFI is worth it, maybe. Or two GFIs, you know, like. I, I don't know. It looks like it was wrong. So. It at least looked like he stacked. So, yeah. which I always hit. Yeah, 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 he probably shouldn't have. Yeah, you can. Oh, he's got two D on the ball there. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah, the uh, ogre finally did something again. Yeah. Sometimes this ogre wakes up. And he's still got some he's got scoring, scoring for it. He had to touch from 10th, but he got it. It's hard, isn't it? It's so hard. And there's no there's no stand firm, so it's an easy easy chain the ball out here and, and just run away a bit. That's humans for you, Fluffy Burrito. Three plus dodge fails and you usually just lose. Yeah, I It's a really, stronger team. I really hate humans for that reason, like it's just you're always, you're always at the mercy of three pluses, even if things go like pretty well. Like that's the problem, isn't it? Even a uh, catcher can fail a three plus dodge, even though it has dodge. Yeah, Th things have to go like, things have to go super well for you to not be at the mercy of a one in nine. And one in nine is just too likely to fail, isn't it? Basically. Way too much, and it's why good uh, chaos ball carriers take two heads. Yeah, there you go. Hello, PC. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Well, I do feel a bit conflicted in this one because, as some people know, I have been uh, gently giving dudes a uh, little bit of tactical advice. We have a chat every game. That may have to stop, as if we both get through, uh, if he gets through this round and the one after, he faces me. Well, you can still give him advice, just not good advice. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't do that, obviously, but uh, yeah. you can, there we are. You can follow you can. in the footsteps of Arnold <laughs> with Franco Columbu. <laughs> um, but uh, he was only joking when he said that anyway. Right. Um, there you go. Congratulations, old dude Reno. Commiserations, Poonbot. Thank you very much, Muppet Pac-Man and Purple Chest. It's been a pleasure. Sorry I missed some of that, but there we are. Not a problem. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.